morning guys welcome to today's video so today is the 31st of march so we're we're at um around about 13 degrees at the moment so what i'm going to do is is i'm going to do the post winter health check and measure up today so i'll take each fish out individually give them a once over have a measure up take some pictures of them i do this coming out of winter and i do it going into winter so if you've not seen the last one i did around uh, november time check that out um there's pictures on there of of how they developed over the couple of months i had them last summer and what i'll do i will put comparisons of pictures from then and now so you can see any any changes over winter obviously they've they've been fed you know off and on over the winter with wheat germ so there won't be a lot of growth on there but it's often interesting to see colors and the body shape uh, how they change over the winter period so we'll we'll have a look at that i'll get everything set up uh, and we'll get on get the first one out okay so this fish was 30 go 30 centimeters going into winter i've just had a look it was right at the end of september i, I measured them all she's about 31 now so about a centimeter all over the winter it's um as much as as you can expect really given how much i've uh, they've been fed um but a better story is the condition of the fish is absolutely spot on the skin the, the uh scalation everything is all is really good with this fish so uh, i'm expecting some good growth over the summer it certainly eats well um, quite pale at the moment uh, they do tend to change yamabuki organ this they do tend to color comes up and down so uh, i'm not too worried about that although it is i do quite like the color of it um, yeah good good temperament it's really friendly it's always the first one up for food um yeah very happy no 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 marks on her at all absolutely spot on so come on to the winter great so i'll just get a picture of her and we'll get her back in okay so this is a show it this is uh this fish also was 30 centimeters back end of september um this is far and away the best quality uh kai that i have so i don't know if it comes across well on the camera but the skin quality on this fish is amazing the, the white ground is 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 really good um reasonably well balanced uh benny pattern the sumi that is up uh although there's a lot of it at the moment on the benny pattern there is a lot underlying on the white ground as well um, the stuff that is up looks really good quality um, looks to be female as far as I can tell so far I guess it's officially it's a Maritain shower because of the round uh, Benny spot on its head um, but yeah this is the, this is the this is the uh, the better quality by a long way of all the fish that I have uh, yeah good, good cracking potential on this again eats really well um nothing untoward at all with it it's uh condition wise it's bang on uh, as i said i don't expect there to be any growth at all if maybe a centimeter or two but nothing spectacular uh, yeah again probably 31 so probably probably got a centimeter on it over the winter which is which is fine more, more important is the is that it's come out of winter in great condition um ready for a good growing season this year so yeah maritain shower all these kai came from tim waddington at quality nishkigai so they're all all from the same place it really is a cracking fish this really excited about the potential in this one the white skin is really really good it does look to be a lot of of underlying sumi um but, I mean, they, they really they can change so much sure as they as the air uh, as they grow so it's just a wait and see really but all the potential is there really for, with this one 
hopefully I can do it justice. I, I would expect a lot of this sumi to come up uh, between now and the next measure up at the end of summer. So I'd expect this one to look quite different um, come September, October time this year when we when we get them out again. Oh yeah, 31 centimetres. Maritain show it. We'll get it back. I'll take a couple of pictures and then we'll get it back in. Okay guys, so this is a goshki. Um, this fish, big changes on this one. If you look back from when I got them in June to when I measured up end of September this fish went uh, very very dark when I first picked it up it was extremely light colour um, and it it uh, it was very quite slim as well actually so during that period last year it filled out a lot put on a lot of body um, and the skin darkened uh, quite significantly um, Again, I really like this fish actually, it wasn't one of my favourites at the beginning, but it's a cracking, uh, cracking fish. Sometimes when the sun's on it, it has like a silver uh, glint to the scales. Uh, pattern again, the penny is reasonably well balanced down both sides of the fish. Um, not the strongest penny, but uh, it wasn't an expensive fish. so. Yeah, everything's there. It's uh, I think it'll look good when it gets a uh, gets a bit of size on. Hopefully, we'll get some growth on it this year. Um, again, I don't expect these to have grown really, but we'll just have a quick measure up uh, while we're here. I'm getting it. Uh, what did we have before for that one? Twenty-seven. Yeah, it's about the same. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Um, we'll give it 28 we'll say put another centimeter on that one over the over the winter as well um but yeah good condition no no marks no problems eats well um quite a calm and relaxed fish most of these coil come up and eat out of your hand now um just the, the small chag really that's quite a way behind the other size wise doesn't have a lot of confidence but all these will come up and take food out of your hand um, they have pretty much since day one to be honest I find if you keep the water quality bang on their appetites are, are very strong um, when, the, when their appetites are strong they don't worry too much about humans and see them they, they, they'll come up and take food from you Okay, so I'll take a couple of pictures and we'll get her back in. Okay, so this is a little Ginrin Kahaku. Again, I guess with the spot on the head, Maritain Ginrin Kahaku is the, would be the official term for it. And this fish was a lot smaller than the others when it when I, when I picked them up. Um, you may be able to see, I don't know if it comes across on the video, but if you contrast this to the shower, the skin quality on this one, you see the yellow, the colour to the head. Um, the skin is just not quite um, as good. I mean, it isn't bad at all, and certainly given the price I paid for it, it's cracking. Um, but you, hopefully, this one will demonstrate the difference a little bit between the two. Um, the pale yellow colour to the head that will fade, and hopefully, the head will become fully white as the fish grows. Uh, basically, the skin over the skull is thin when when the fish is young. And as the fish ages and develops the skin thickens and so you stop seeing effectively seeing through the skin to what's beneath um, so hopefully as the fish grows the, the skin will will whiten on the head um, and you won't see that that yellow color um, yeah again pleasing pattern reasonably well balanced um, the maritain spots not bad on this one better better spot than the shore i guess uh, all fully on the head, non, not running onto the body. Um, Benny looks good. So yeah, I mean, a cracking little fish, and again, it's in perfect condition. There's not a mark on it. Um, absolutely spotless. Eats well. Um, she needs a little bit of catching up in the growth growth stakes, but I'm sure that will come. He's a lively little fella. I'll just give it a quick measure up. 
Um, I'm going to give her 23, uh, which is the same as September, October. I don't think it, she's grown at all. Um, but good body shape again, still, you know, because I've been able to feed them more or less all through winter off and on, um, the, the body shape is good. So they don't uh, they don't go thin over the winter as Kai that have been starved will. So you don't spend that first few weeks of the summer growth period putting the body shape back on before they can start to concentrate the resources into growing so you get a, kind of off to a bit of a flying start if you can keep them fed all winter um, so yeah all good I'll get her back in and we'll get the next one out okay so this is a kahaku um, this was 27 centimeters uh, back in in uh, prior to the winter again absolutely spot on um, in terms of condition 20 it was uh, it's 27 again there's not not no change on that um, Benny looks quite weak on this fish certain areas um, this is what people would often deem a big fish pattern by that I mean there's a lot of Benny on the fish and very little white but I think it's more to try and justify not a great pattern really that people use that term but the the what happens as the fish grows the the white down the down the sides lower down um comes up and becomes more visible um so as the fish grows in size the white will become more evident show itself more and the the, the benny will look less dominant is the theory um is the is the kind of the thinking and the the, t the reason the the thinking behind the term big fish pattern um you know these these areas where the white comes a little higher up will move further up onto its back as the fish grows and spreads um yeah i mean it's not it's not a sure winning fish it, it didn't cost a lot um I, i'm i'm more than happy with the pattern i, I quite like a a benny uh, a benny dominant pattern to be honest rather than a sparse um a sparse benny but yeah uh condition wise great again managed to keep the body on it so it, it it's ready to go now straight away ready to get on and grow uh once we get onto some higher protein foods these fish are all nisai now as well i don't know if i mentioned that um so uh, again yeah very happy no no growth over the winter which is which is to be expected um yeah we'll get some pictures and we'll get him back in okay so this is a little chag um this guy he looks brilliant he really does look fin perfect he's scale perfect he's, he's absolutely cracking condition but as you can see just for whatever reason just refuses to grow he eats well um just one of those things i guess uh it's about it was about 160 170 i think when it went in and it it won't be any different now it's a shame really because it's a really is a cracking proportioned fish scales excellent uh, about 170 180 maybe it's hard to see what keeps still but yeah uh gonna be moving this one on it um uh, it just isn't gonna grow um so this will be going shortly uh, i'm going to replace this with a with another chag i want i'm going to look for something similar the color and, and everything is the, the the type of chag that i like so i'll find something very similar but it'll be uh it'll be going off to a new home yeah it's a shame as i say it's a cracking fish cracking looking fish um just for whatever reason just doesn't want to grow just happens sometimes okay so we're getting back in okay last and definitely least um sarah guy this guy is my least favorite guy i've got it down for actually looks to be about 29 just um 
this fish will be will be moving on this week so this is the last time you'll see this uh this one it yeah it frustrates me because there's no issues in the pond there's no the water's bang on there's no parasites there's no issues at all but this fish for whatever reason every time i look at it every day it's got a new knock or a mark it's covered in uh, everything really it just i don't know what it does or why i've scraped it till i'm blue in the face i've i've tried everything with this but it, it just i don't know it's just a, not a healthy fish somehow it's uh it just beats itself up or it i just don't know i just don't know it's got me absolutely baffled to be honest it was probably my least favorite fish of the lot when i got him i didn't really want a sorry guy but it was there i picked it up but uh, yeah i just just not got along not been able to get along with it it's just it's just frustrating really um so that's going off to a new home this week and if you've not seen my video on the red-eyed karashi guy um check that out but that's the fish that i've bought to replace this so this should have actually been moved on before the karashi guy came but there's been a little overlap but yeah check that out the, the karashi guy is um oh, it's an absolute cracking fish I, I love it it's brilliant as i'm talking to you now it's just all over the window there looking at me um yeah it's funny it's one of those things sometimes you just don't get on with a fish somehow it's there's nothing i mean it's a perfectly good fish you know there's nothing health wise there's nothing wrong with it um yeah we just don't get on <laughs> if that's possible so yeah that will be moving um this week to a new home so we'll get it back in okay that's that's the moment um done now so that's the karashi guy that i was just talking about that's uh that's replacing the sara guy um i've made a mess of the water got a bit of blanket weed on the walls and with the net and stuff i've made a bit of a mess of the water but that's that's the karashi guy i'm not going to get her out again because she's only been in a couple of days but yeah, it's a cracking fish it's really friendly eats like an absolute pig um 41 centimeters and knee size uh, i'll get the water get the air back on and get the filter get everything up and running again and get the water fixed after all the disturbance thank you for watching again as always uh, do look out for up and coming videos if you've not already do subscribe to the channel uh, and as always if uh, if you like the video do hit the like button uh, it all does all help thank you very much